While the government is focused on the fight, businesses in all sectors had to make a call. Stay and continue doing business, put a hold on operations or leave and return once the threat had been dealt with. We know the situation has been fairly tough in the country for the last eight to nine months or so. Can you give us a synopsis of what the issues are that are affecting your industry across those three levels? We had a 20-year master plan. We've been executing it. And at the time, eight months ago, that this thing occurred or started, about six or eight major projects were being undertaken. For example, four power plants were being constructed uh, as of today. Most of those projects are at a standstill. That alone illustrates to you how severely things have been impacted. Um, mining sector, I mean, fortunately, we've had some companies that have already begun operations. So um, a lot of those companies, with our encouragement and our support, they've managed to stay. But again, a, a lot of new operations, like a lot of exploration activities that would eventually lead to uh, development uh, of, of, of different projects, those have been slowed a little bit. On the land side, we were moving towards, uh, you know, reforming the whole sector uh, through the Land Commission. You touched on agriculture. Now, it, it's quite interesting because the World Bank was here a couple of days ago and they were talking about pumping liquidity back into the agriculture sector. Uh, what's your involvement in this and how are you going to be working with the bank? One of the greatest challenges that farmers have in Liberia is besides, you know, the farm to market roads to get the, the, the produce to market and, you know, fertilizers and things like that, is energy, you know, because without energy, uh, you know, you can't have cold storages, you can't preserve the foods, you can't have access to electricity in these remote areas where their simple availability increases agricultural productivity. So from the land and agriculture sector, we're doing as much as we can to see how we can, I guess, play a constructive role. Minister, the mining sector and potential investors, are you, how are you going to be attracting new investors into Liberia once this health situation has been resolved? New entrants into the market, though, again, are, you know, are in a different category because, again, they're not used to being here. The companies that stayed are companies who've been here, who understand how things work, understand what they have to do to protect themselves. The minister talks a good talk here. He looks after three key sectors of the country's economy, lands, mines and energy. Without energy, he can't do anything. And energy, we've heard, is a key priority area. But potential investors are also looking at Liberia post the epidemic, probably looking to come and invest here. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Monrovia, Liberia.